Two students in the Jefferson Parish School System have been suspended over the last month for showing BB guns during virtual learning. Now, the first case led to lawmakers creating some legislation that's now on track to become law. But as Erica Ferrando explains, there's pushback from the school system. House Bill 83, named for fourth grader Kamari Harrison, is moving forward in the legislature, but now with pushback from Jefferson Parish School leaders. Harrison was suspended for six days last month after a teacher spotted a BB gun in his bedroom during a virtual class. When I first saw the letter, it was an immediate slap in the face to the two families that I now represent. Chelsea Brenner Cusimano is representing Harrison and the family of sixth grader Tommy Brown, who was also suspended for showing a BB gun in a virtual class. Class. His father spoke with us last week. My house is not their building. This is not Jefferson Parish School System. This is a bill that is progressive and will protect students not only in student discipline, but mandate that policies and procedures are put in place to protect students participating in virtual learning. House Bill 83 also called the Kamari Harrison Act would create virtual school policies and allow parents to appeal disciplinary actions. It passed in the House Education Committee last week, 96 to 0. Friday, the Jefferson Parish superintendent and three board members issued an open letter to legislators urging them to reject the bill, saying, quote, the Jefferson Parish School Board is extremely concerned the legislation aimed at rectifying perceived wrongs in specific cases arising out of a narrow set of facts is advancing through the legislature and will have serious and wide reaching consequences for Louisiana school districts. How are they trying to stop a train that's already in motion that has such wide level support? Governor John Bill Edwards met with Harrison and thanked him for working on the issue. His office responded to the letter from Jefferson Parish School leaders, saying, quote, of course the governor will have to review the final version of the bill before signing. But given that virtual learning has become a significant part of the education process, he believes it is important to have good policies in place to address any issues that might arise as more students learn from home. House Bill 83 will go before the Senate Education Committee Monday. In Jefferson Parish, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. And that letter from the school district says they can't discuss the facts of the case, so they can't defend their actions. But they urge lawmakers to consider the broader implications of the act, like possibly making it more difficult for teachers to maintain order and overwhelming school boards with suspension appeals.